going to Cambridge. And today on Railings with Rebecca, we're going to talk about something that is very iconic to Cambridge. The punt. Um, I realized that the other day on Railings with Rebecca, I was like, let's learn something. And I proceeded to ramble about Napa, which may or may not have been feeling very instructive to you. I doubt you knew that much about it, though, so probably you did learn something. Whether or not it was something you wanted to learn, I can't help you with, sorry. Um, but today, who doesn't want to know about punting? We're going to talk about punting. It's going to be really fun, okay? Um, I'm sorry, apparently I geek out about boats. I never knew that I did this until I just started rambling this, but here we go. Um, okay, who knows punt what a punt is? Raise your hand. Um, you may not know the word for this, but I'm guessing probably you have this image in your head somewhere. Punts are the really, really long, fairly flat uh, boats. Um, they happen in Cambridge a lot, Oxford too. Um, kind of like gondolas, 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 gondolas. Um, where like one person is standing in the back with a really, really long pole and like pushing the flat boat along, you know, and like tourists or like lazy people, you know, are like lounging around, la la la, on the river. Okay. This happens in Cambridge a lot. Um, so we're going to talk about punting, the boat, the history of punting in Cambridge. It's going to be great. I'm sorry, I really hope that you're as geeked as I am about this. Um, a punt. Uh, like other boats, it has, um, you know, like the official, like, stern and bow. Um, but then the ends of the punt that, like, stick up, so it's, like, really, really, really flat, and then it kind of sticks up a little bit at either end. Um, and those ends are called huffs. H-U-F-F. -F. So cool. Okay, I don't know why, that just really, really entertains me. Um, and there's the really, really long punt stick. Now, in order to punt, someone stands, I think you can technically do it at the front or the back, actually. Um, traditionally, though, I think it happens at the... I'm going to do this wrong. At the back. Um, you stick the really, really long stick in the water and push off from the bottom. Um, so unlike most boating, where you're using oars, rudders, tillers, etc., um, to like stick in the water and move currents, um, and or push against the water in the case of an oar, um, um, I'm getting my words wrong, or a paddle, there we go, there's the more common word with kayaks, I'm going to quit that. Um, Instead of using like, the water and pushing water around in order to move the boat forward, you're actually shoving along the ground to push yourself forward. Um, so the water is actually like obnoxious <laughs> in punting, which is kind of different. Um, I am crap at punting, uh, and it's something that like supposedly takes a good amount of effort to like get good at. I, nope. Maybe, maybe someday if I lived in Cambridge for a long period of time. I don't know. Anyway, um, but punting in Cambridge. Uh, punting in the UK in general became popular in the fairly early 1900s. Um, and it started along the 10th, uh, so in London, as well as Cambridge and um, Oxford. Um, and so, yeah, we have these punts, these square-ended boats with flat bottoms, you know, propelled along with a really long pole that work really well for very flat, fairly shallow waters uh, that, you know, don't necessarily allow the bigger or deeper um, boats to navigate easily. Um, so this guy named Jack Scudamore, um, who grew up in Cambridge um, and was like a Boat builder saw this, you know, trend taking over and was like, dude, let's make punting boats in Cambridge, because why not? Um, this really, really took off. Um, so by the 1920s in Cambridge, punting was the activity, um, and it has continued to be the activity ever since. Certainly you still have the rowing, um, maybe we can have a rowing lesson sometime, except I really know nothing about rowing, despite having some of very close friends who are rowers. Um, that would take an extensive Google before talking about it. Anyway, but punting is kind of like the thing to do. Um, in Cambridge and Oxford, uh, many of the colleges own their own punts, um, and students can go rent them very cheaply and, you know, just take mates along the river. Um, the, the river is by far the prettiest way to see Cambridge and all of the colleges. A lot of, like, the kind of iconic photos that we have of colleges are taken from the river or, you know, the riverbanks. Um, so... And then I shall go punt sometime this weekend along with it. Very lazily, I'll find another Marshall Scholar to do it because I 